Hello, Bumpy McSquigums here, and it's time for some more Xenonauts. I'm back, guys. That's right, I promised you two. This is the second one. This is episode 42 coming right at you on Independence Day. Like I said, what better way to celebrate Independence Day than to relive the movie through the majesty of game? What? So let's get started. All right, by started, I mean let's get finished. I like to wait for the day, so I'm going to give it a shot. If I can. Oh, oh, what? Oh, okay. Um, we'll go to the base, and we will hire ourselves some more engineers, because we really actually need engineers quite a lot. So let's do that. Hire them all up, and that should help us tremendously, because we, I mean, we have a double dose of scientists. So why not have a double dose of engineers, right? And the radar array is done as well, so we have more coverage now. We do pretty much cover the entire world. A little bit here we don't have, which I think I can upgrade this once more, and I will. I probably have the funds to do it now. In fact, if I don't already have it being constructed, I will do it right now. I think, oh, no, I do not have it constructed. All right. So, at this point, I am going to add a radar array. Sorry, I forgot what I was doing. I forgot what I was doing. There we go. So, triple radar. You know what? I don't want it there. It doesn't look pretty. We're going to put it here. There we go. That's much better. Much better. All right. So that's all working. Um, we were constructing, what, plasma? Precision plasmas? All right. That's going to take a while. It's fine. Um, and we're about ready to send these guys to murder. There we go. And it worked. And we should be able to do this. So let's get on with it. And engage! So I think everyone's armored. I, I don't remember, guys. I've been playing a lot of solo play, trying to catch up, and I, I think I got to the point where I have wolf armor and I'm researching buzzard jumpsuits, so I'm pretty close. But I haven't had any of the larger landing vessels yet, and I haven't run into a single terror mission yet either. So I think I did the other LP, or my, uh, my other LP, the other solo play a little bit quicker, and I think I'm just now putting up my third base. So research-wise, I'm definitely doing better, but everything else, eh, it's questionable. Questionable at best. Pete Holmes, my friend, get out and look around. There is stuff to be seen, and you are the one to see it. Looking around. And this should be another one of those uh, large landing vessels, so let's hope this goes pretty good. One can only hope. Well, I suppose you can do more than hope. When it comes down to tactical awesomeness, which we know I totally have and I never make mistakes. <coughs> All right, well, we can continue to search around in whatever weird patterns that we want, or we could use our brains. Nah, uh, our brains, but um, now that I have the clear, no, the clearance, that's not really what I want to say, the uh, the path cleared for my peeps, my uh, rockety people, I can send Nicole Hernandez up to the top to kind of look around. There we go. All right, so let's take a look. I guess we'll go throw her on a roof, why not? Oh, we see an alien right over yonder. Very cool. Fly over here. Take a look around. Kind of do a full scouting mission, so to speak. And I guess we can probably land here. I mean, I don't think we have... Yeah, we don't have the uh, possibility to shoot that just yet, but at least we know it's there, and possibly one of the cool things we can do is, if I'm not mistaken, we'll get Scooter U-Turn Singleton all situated and ready. I can probably lob a gas grenade over there and make him really an unhappy guy for camping. That's a nasty spot. I probably would have ran past that, to be 100% honest or put somebody into a position where that was not a good thing to do. Alright, this might be a bad idea too, but we're gonna do it anyway. Actually, we're gonna do it differently. We're gonna do it a little safer. Apparently there's another alien that I saw, and I don't know where that was. It's okay though. Alright, let's go that. Where is this? Where are you? Okay, he's inside the first floor. Alright, well that's fine. I'm going to try to get over there, and hopefully I don't get shot on my way over. 
And I should be able to land on... Oops. That. There we go. Yeah, we'll take a knee. We'll do a search around in a moment's time. Alright, so using the different layers is fun, but... Eh, I don't know. It can be scary at times, too. We'll situate you with some uh, gas-powered grenadage, or rockets, as it were. And... In addition, MTB should be... Or, uh, sorry, Atomic Potato should be pretty darn happy. Because he finally doesn't have to use his BB gun any longer. What? And bam, there we go. Happy birthday, MDB. And by MDB, once again, I mean Atomic Potato. See, I can't keep people's names straight. It's a terrible, terrible thing. He was the... He was the guy with the better weaponry in the last episode with the Rookie Squad. So now everybody's MDB with a shield. Unless they're Redith. I don't know. I don't know what's happening anymore, guys. I can't keep it straight. Oh, no, 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 whatever you do, don't walk any further. Oh, gosh. That could have been so terrible. Like, worse than it already was terrible. Which is relatively terrible. Alright, well, let's do this and see what happens. Closing my eyes, I'm scared. I hear gunfire. Oh, he just walked right through the gas, doesn't even care. And there goes a shield. Glad I have another one sitting right behind it. Gotta say, I expected a little bit more out of the gas there. I mean, it didn't even phase him. They're in a lot of movement, so... I don't know how downed this alien craft was, but... Eh. We will see. I think I'm gonna go over here and pick up the shield again. Poor Atomic Potato didn't even get to pick up his shield. Or even get to fire once before he had to do something else. Let's see if I can at least shoot... There we go. 59% chance. And of course you hit a wall. Awesome! Alright. Well. Let's get over here and say goodbye. <laughs> goodbye. And I guess we can start moving out this way. Take a knee. And we'll get Scooney U-Turn Singleton up to the front. He is a major now, so he's getting higher and higher up. Um, I believe when people start hitting commander rank again, I'm going to cycle in some more rookies into the veteran squad. Probably keep the the four I kept last time and then cycle in additional. We'll see, though. We will see. Commander Pete Holmes is almost ready to go out on his own. Let's deal with our, our roofy people. Our roofy people. It's kind of funny. Let's go over here. Whee! All right, no alien menace, huh? All right, well, let's go up here. That's a really large building. I don't think I've been on this map before, guys. Kind of interesting. Oh, I see a tree. There's trees over there, ladies and gentlemen. There are trees. What? All right, well, let's go over here and look around. We know there's somebody inside this building, but I don't think they can get onto the roof, so... Oh, look. We have a friend. Let's take a knee. And... Can we hit him? We can. So let's do so. Oh, that did not kill him, though. Hmm. Let's hope that they're okay with what they have. Uh, where's my other person there? Prep to survive, you need to get into position. We're gonna go around this corner. Guns a-blazing. You and Colonel Redith gonna take some fools out. Now we still gotta deal with that building, which could be a problem. Not sure how to deal with that, actually. Um, hmm. I really don't know. Like, I, like I'm really, uh, I don't, I don't know. Yeah, whatever. We'll go this way. It's possible that guy will try to get a better vantage point going up to the roof like he did last time as well. Um, Pete Holmes, I guess you can go take a look inside this building. I don't think there's anyone in there, but there is the possibility that someone could have been in there. We're going to continue this way. And hopefully we get to see some new uh, research and development or something get done this episode, guys. I have high hopes and some pretty big ambitions before me, so... Okay, well, he's not a sniper. He's got a burst fire, so... That's advantageous to me, because I have the, the height advantage, and... With a, with a sniper, I mean. 
in theory, there should be nothing he's going to do to stop me. But we'll see. We will see. Alright, let's get back up top. And see if we can't finish him off. 95% chance. Boom, down he goes. Sweet. Alright, and with that... Yep, I assumed I'd see that. Let's go over here. I should be able to lob some type of grenade at him. Will this hit? It will. Let's chuck it. Let's see. Hiya! And he didn't enjoy that at all. Let's let's just call it what it is. That was unfortunately painful for him. In many, many, many ways. Oh my people are not grenaded outright. Hmm. They are not the way they should be. Well, shoot at him. Well, that didn't work. That sucks. Alright. Alright, we'll crouch. Um, the odd Varna still needs to do some stuff, but eh. That seems like a terrible idea. Let's just not expose you to death yet. We'll expose you to death soon enough, but not quite yet. Alright, what do I have? far as, ooh, I might be able to do some work here. Let's see. Can I throw a grenade down here? Nope. Nope, I cannot. That's unfortunate. Alright, who do we got left? Uh, up on the top of the roof, we have Nicole Hernandez. It's going to be Redith, but it's not actually Redith, so surprise. Uh, let's go over there. Who knows what's in that building. Alright, so there's somebody visible way over there. Okay, so we will land over here. Take a look back this way. Doesn't look like there's anyone in that building, so... That's kind of good, I guess. Take a knee, and in theory we're somewhat relatively safe from harm. Let's see, who else we got? Who else do we have? Pete Holmes. Gonna start doing his uh, sweeping action soon. We'll clear out this building and then we'll go into the big one. <clears throat> and we'll even do it slowly so he can actually shoot instead of just walk around like a crazy man with a lot of TUs and well, really nothing to do. In the meantime, we will move forward with this group of people. I think what we're gonna have to do. Oh god. Okay, I wasn't really expecting that. Oh my. Alright, um, I guess I'll take a knee and return fire, I guess? Uh, I don't really know. Mutanot can get over there. But how close can he actually get without putting himself into, like, horrible, horrible, awful danger? If there's somebody this way, I just boned myself. We'll see. Well, looks like we're okay. Now, if he comes around the corner and goes after me, that's a whole different ball game. That is a nasty story waiting to happen. So we're going to go over here and chill. Probably not a good idea to chill directly next to one another. So we'll take a knee and hopefully something good will come of this. And everyone has done something, or tried to, so let's see what happens. He missed. That's a good sign. He did heal up, though, so... We'll see. Alright, not too bad. And another one. Very nice. Oh, this guy's moving. He's ready to do some damage. He's like, you guys are not going to leave me out. I'm here. I'm ready. Swear to me. But, you know, we don't do those things. We don't do those things. Alright. If we ever get to take another turn, because there's like 5,000 aliens and like 1,500, uh, civilians in this particular mission. It's awesome. Alright, well, we're going to do this. I don't know how it's going to... It worked! It's pretty cool. Alright, um... I guess I'll just lob another one. And he should go down from that. Yep, there we go. So that was easy enough. Alright, let's go over this way and continue our exploration. It should be easy enough to do. They're prepped to survive, covering the back flank. The back flank. I think we might even swap weapons. I'm not sure. I don't know yet. I haven't figured that out. Uh, I'm going to go hide behind the van with a rocketeer, because that's what rocketeers do. They are drawn to giant vans, like moths are drawn to flames, or bugs are drawn to bug zappers. 
or William Shatner to green women. I mean, it, it all has its place, I suppose. Alright, let's get here and... Take a knee. I know, it was a little a little over dramatic there. And can you hit? No. <laughs> uh, the man never missed a rocket, but he cannot fire a gun. It's okay, though. It's okay. He will get his accuracy up, and eventually he will be useful to us in uh, shooting his guard. Now, granted, if he was able to get close enough, it would still be, you know, it would still be okay. But right now, that's not the case, and that is unfortunate. Ooh, this might be a bad idea. We'll see. All right, I'm going to try to hide over here, and it looks like I will be able to, so that's sweet. Uh, we should have one more sniper in position, and we do. Let's see if she can do some work herself. It looks like she can, and bam. He can't be too happy. And we'll fire it again, and down he goes. So, roof snipers for the win. And that leaves us with Pete Holmes doing what he do about to start sweeping is what he's about to start doing. Let's just take a look. I mean, we have a billion TUs with him. Might as well look. We can always retreat if we have to. There's really nothing in this building at all. Alright, well, I think I should have gone that way now. We will. Alright, so all threats are handled right now. I'm sure there's still more, obviously, but all threats handled right now. Things are going pretty good. Welcome to Earth! And then we start punching dudes in the face and throw, dropping elbows and kicking them and pulling out little pew pew pews and pew pew pewing people, you know, it, it's fine. It's Independence Day, guys. We gotta do stuff like that. We gots to do stuff like that. Alright, so... Let's see what's in here. Aha! Nothing. Just like I thought. Knock knock. Nope. Nothing. And don't be anybody there. Yay! Alright, so let's move here. Um, you can come over here. Take a look. Oh, I wanted to steal the gun. Darn it. I'm a dum-dum. Oh, that's interesting. That's a rarity, too. You know, we're going to go back and steal that gun. There could be someone in there, so let's play it relatively safe. Um, rocketeering... It's not a safe business. There we go. We'll just be close. We'll be close. Alright. Well, we need to go down one more level. Eh, not yeah, necessarily. Alright, we're going to go here on the roof. And here we come. Da -da 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 -da. And... And it looks like we have a pretty good view of everything. And nothing terrible seems to be happening. So this might be a mistake being in there. Maybe like, a bunch of people will rush out and murder me. I don't know. I hope not. But it is possible. And it looks like there might not be any alien activity left outside the ship. I'm I'm still hesitant on that front because there has been some lingerers. Some lingerers? Some... I don't know. There has been a few that have been kind of just around instead of doing cool things and like showing up when they should. They took their sweet time to get there. So I don't doubt that there could still be a few people, and there's some buildings that we do need to still clear, so... So I'm not writing it off just yet. You know what, we're just gonna stay there. Um, who do we got left? Who do we have left? We have two shield units that need to move forward. Um, we'll send Skuni U-Turn Singleton toward the ship. And we'll have Atomic Potato actually go out and explore the rest. Oh, there's an open door. That could mean there's alien activity or some scared dude going, Oh my gosh, there's aliens around! Loot everything! You know how people are. You know how people are. Alright, let's end the turn. And hopefully this episode goes pretty quick, because I'm starting to get pretty warm again. Like I said, I can't wait until the storm hits and it cools off, as long as no damage is done. I mean, don't get me wrong, I don't hope it hits and, like, people die or they lose houses or anything like that. I'm not I'm not that guy. But I hope it hits soon, because the temperature, temperature, the temperature should drop about 10 to 15 degrees, which will be delicious. Oh, I'll be so happy. Words can't even describe the amount of joy I will be feeling, and euphoria. I enjoy cool weather, I really do. 
That's why being in Canada is kind of neat for most of the year, but when you get into the heat, ugh. Forget about it. Forget about it. Alright, let's get over here. The Yad Varns, get over here. Yeah, that works. Alright, um. Let's take a peek inside here. And. Nothing. Alright, into that place. I'm thinking that we are 100% clear, but again, we'll see. We'll see, time will be able to tell. Allegedly, time heals all things. I don't believe it. I, th I don't think if you just don't treat a bullet wound that you're going to heal from it. I mean, maybe. I mean, there is a possibility a few people might, depending on where the bullet hit them, but... I think, generally speaking, that's not a good idea or a good philosophy to go by. Oh gosh, I didn't mean to open that. At all. That was not part of my plan. But, I'll tell you what, it looks like it might actually work out for me. Oh. Okay. And, Redith, how's your throwing arm? Apparently way better than the rookies. And let's see here. What can we do with this guy? Let's see. Maybe we can get a grenade tossed here with him. And finish that guy out. And off. Hiya! My goodness, he's resistant to that. Holy cow. Alright, well, we're going to do it this way then. I'm going to close that up and hope that nothing bad happens. Oh my gosh, that was terrible. He got three grenades right in his face, and he's like, eh, whatever. This, pfft, whatever, this ain't even my whole night. He's all ready. He's like, yeah, bring it on. Bring me some more. I, I, I eat electromagnetic grenades for breakfast. It's it's not really good on the stomach. It kind of hurts the bowels a little bit, but you know... Oh, oh, I found something. Where? Is there a window? in the ship somehow that I just don't okay apparently there's someone upstairs that I repeatedly see over and over yet I don't actually see surprise alright so that means one person hasn't moved and it is you so let's get you over here to a position where you might be able to do something but probably not. In fact, let's get you all the way down to the ground level. There you go. Welcome to the rest of us. Alright, let's end our turn. And let's see what's gonna happen. I don't think there's gonna be much happening. I think all the aliens outside are gone. Now it's only the ones inside, and the ones inside are like, whoa! They killed everybody outside? Uh-uh. Let's, let's just back up here. Let's, let's rethink our, our lives, because this is not a good idea. That's right. The Xenonauts. Changing lives. Generally for the worse for the aliens, but you know, it's still a life-changing experience, so... Take that how you will. Alright, so you're still standing, and I would very, very, very much like it if I could kill you, so... I'm going to attempt to do just that. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Good. Good boy. Good boy. Alright, let's get over here. Start spreading out and doing stuff. I don't think anyone else is standing, so there's no more standing aliens. Which is fantastic. Um, Probably handle going here. Taking the knee. Um, no, maybe? Yeah, well, why not? We'll go here. Hopefully, only two people get granadeded. If they do decide to grenade us, we shall see. We're going to go here with him, or her, rather, prep to survive. Take a knee. We're going to get Mutana to move eventually, but not quite yet, because he can't. He simply can't do it. And I think that's just about everyone, except Atomic Potato, who is finishing up the last of the black spots, and he has done so. So we're going to send him in now. And who does that leave? We have number 9, fine. We'll move you over here. Number 10, fine. You can stay where you're at. And number 5, Pete Holmes. 
You did well, buddy. You did well. I guess. Come on. No one. Yay. Alright. Come on down. Let's end our turn. See what they decide to do. Are they going to open up side doors? Are they going to come from the second floor? What's going to happen? What are we dealing with? Are we going to eat a grenade? Are we going to eat ice cream afterward? Is there going to be jerk chicken? I don't know. I don't know. These are answers to questions that other people might be able to give me. But right now, I don't have them. Actually, those are just questions and I need the answers. But either way, either way, they both work. They both work. Alright, well, I'm dying of heat exhaustion now. I'm sweating profusely. Or well, maybe not profusely. I'm not just sitting here and there's sweat dripping on the ground, in case you guys were wondering. But I am sweating, and I don't like to sweat when I'm not doing something that involves, like, strenuous activity. Physical labor of some type. I don't mind doing physical labor and sweating, because that's kind of part of it, you know, generally speaking. But when I'm not doing those things and I'm sweating, I'm not super happy, because... That means I'm just uncomfortable, and there's no air conditioning. And I'm not okay with these things. These are two things that I don't particularly care for. Alright, well... Let's get over here and face this way. Looks like everything is confined into the upper rooms. So, if we can get to positions where we can actually do something... We got prep up over there. Oh, he's gonna walk through the gas like a moron. By he, I mean she. Whatever. You only get triggered once per turn. Where did Mutana? Oh, there he is. I'm like, where did Mutana end up at? I forgot. But I found him. All right. Well, we're about to breach the upper floor with most of our folks. We should get a little bit more here before we actually go for the full breach. And things are gonna work out. I think. I think things are gonna work out kind of nice. If they come down, they should get murdered by our amazing forces. If they don't, they should still get murdered by our amazing forces. And, yeah. I could say amazing forces a couple more times. It's not really going to change anything. Oh, there we are. Oh, right out of, right after my sniper. That's mildly impressive and bold and painful. Not overwhelmingly so, but, eh, it's fair. Sadly, no one reactionary fired on that, and that's kind of sad. They didn't take a reaction shot. I guess they were just so surprised that somebody was going to do that that they didn't know what to do with themselves. So we'll have Scooney do some damage and then head up. And there's no one there. I guess I'll take a knee in front of the door. And we'll go down one floor. We will take the time to heal ourselves because we can. And because it, it helps our convalescence, period. Oh, can't quite make it. That's unfortunate. I guess she got suppressed. Probably. It makes sense. Alright. Um, I'll read it. Get into position. And take a knee. Excellent. And we'll get the bumpy McSquig Alms. That would be me. Ta-da! I'm going to be here. I'm going to be in position. I guess I could take a knee too. And I'll have Commander Mutana move in. Hopefully he hits Colonel this this particular thing. We'll see though. There's no telling. Alright, um, who else do we got? She can't move. They're still on their way. He's in the ship. He will not make it to the ship. And we are apparently have vision of some sort of alien. Oh, right on the other side of the door. Oh, and he can throw grenades. Hmm. What do I have vision of that? It's so strange. Doesn't matter. All right. Not quite to the ship. It's okay though. All right. We end our turn. We're gonna see what happens. I don't think he's going to come through the door. I think he's smart enough to know that that's a terrible idea. And I believe there's at least two aliens inside that room. Possibly seven, like you know, the Androns and the other stupid episode. Or uh, ship, I guess. Not really the episode that was stupid. It was the... Oh, gosh. Yeah, they're definitely over there. Alright, let's lob it and see. Boom. Made him a little unhappy. 
It's okay, though. Scooty, you turn singleton. Well done, sir. Oh, there's more than just a couple in this room. This could be bad. This could be bad. Alright, well... Go here. She's only got a gas grenade, so let's lob that in that corner. And that should start causing a little bit of a problem. Alright, Mutanot's ready. I'm gonna just have him just charge in and murder this guy. Hopefully it works. Hopefully. Oh my gosh, he is tanky. But he is also dead. Alright, so that's down. Now, prep to survive. Hope you brought your throwing arm. Oh, you don't have. Oh, boy. Throw some more gas in there. One down, one to go. And I suppose I might be able to make it a possibility. Let's see here. Am I going to be a hero? Am I going to be a hero? It's possible. 20% chance. I think I hit it. And down he goes in victory! With very minor in injuries all the way across. Excellent. Finally, Mutanot hit the rank of Colonel. Kudos to you, my friend. No stat update, strength. Some decent stats on Colonel Redith, actually. That's not too bad. Decent stats on everyone else, too. I mean, not great, but decent. Uh, our corporal is now a sergeant. We have a lieutenant, we have a captain, two majors. So stuff is going pretty good, 86,000 monies. So I think that is about where I'm going to break off the episode, guys. Hopefully you enjoy this double dose of Xenonauts. I know I really only kind of did that one thing. I suppose I could wait for my pod to get back. We'll take a look at the overall kills and stuff. That's something I've been wanting to do for a while. And I would say, it looks like we're kind of finally in a lull for once, which is interesting, and I like it. So let's see, the Corsair Interceptor, let's get everybody working on that. And we have another plasma pistol once we get there, which will be delicious and sweet, sweet, nice. And we are almost back, and there we are. All right, let's take a look. Let's take a look at Mutanon and his kills. He has kills, 107 you think that you would get a medal for killing 100 aliens, but no, you only get it for killing, was it 5, 10, and 20? And then nothing. Seems kind of silly, in my opinion. Yeah, see? For killing 20 ETs. Hello? And I've been on 50 missions. Shouldn't I get something for being on 50 missions? Nope. I don't know, guys. I think they're evil. I think this game is evil, and it doesn't want Mutana to get the recognition and the power and such that he deserves. So, just saying. It's a possibility. Alright, so, Nicole Hernandez, she has 38 kills. Redith, she has 32. But, dun-dun-dun, that's going away, and we're going to go with some plasma. And bam, plasma. What? That is sweet, sweet, nice. And, in addition to that... Let's go to equipment and... Oops, I want grenades. Let's get a couple more of these. Just to make sure she's overloaded just slightly. Pete Holmes is the man. He's got 19 kills. I have 40, like a boss. Tom Potato has 6. He's got 6 kills. What's he complaining about all this time, man? He's doing good. He's doing he's doing alright. Scooter u turn Singleton has 11 kills. Um, you need more stuff. You are underloaded, I dare say. There we go. Alright, so Prep to Survive is getting there. The Rocketeer is set. So one kill. Let's check out Prep to Survive. Four, Skinny you turn Singleton at 11. And Yad Varnus, fortunately you're bringing up the back end of everything. You have four kills. But, you know, you're, you're hanging in there and you're doing stuff. So, it's good Good, good. Alright, so let's transfer our remaining laser pistol over across the water to the base base. I like it. And there we have it. And transfer. And with that, guys, I will end this episode. Again, I hope you guys have a... I hope you highs. I hope you guys have a great weekend. Uh, Fourth of July weekend. 
always fun barbecuing fireworks whatever other weird recreational habits people have sweet sweet nice um, for those of you who don't know Canada has a different Independence Day it's actually on July 1st which was Canada Day so kudos to them and happy Canada Day to all the Canadians I mean I think I said it on Canada Day but I'm not sure if I missed it I apologize please don't lynch me I love you anyway that's gonna do it guys I will catch you in the very next episode till then my name is Bumpy McSquiggums and I will see you later <laughs>